Right guys, as promised, a little bit more into the restoration of the pinball machine, Jurassic Park I'm doing, and tonight we're down to flame polishing. Did a little bit earlier, because unfortunately Lisa won't hang around whilst I'm doing this, and therefore I won't get a video of for you. Um, she's only frightened to death that A, the machine parts all burst into flames, B, be ruined, and then watch me curse and spit as I run around the house. So she just keeps clear of me. What I've done is I've flame polished the ramps. You'll see the results of those in the finished build. Um, but I've taken a piece of plastic that is scratched up to show you exactly how and what flame polishing does. As you can see, plastic is scratched up. And the technique of flame polishing is to, as it says, take a blowtorch flame and to actually polish with the flame. The way it works is the blowtorch heats up the surface of the plastic very, very quickly, turns it to liquid, fills the scratches in and goes back to solid before bending the piece of plastic or burning straight through the piece of plastic that you're working with. So bear with me while I light the torch up and uh, it'll give you an idea of just how hard it is but the results that it gives. Helps if you've got a torch that will light of course. go, a little bit of help, torch is better, and you can actually watch before your eyes, there we go, scratches disappearing out of the ramp, or out of the plastic, and to clear again. As you can see, without damaging the plastic, and you wind up with all the scratch is gone, nice polished effect on it and makes a piece of plastic or in our case the pinball machine parts as good as new and takes away all the ball wear. There you go guys. 